now we have an equation here our target is still make q with the subject that means our target is q equal to something but it's not difficult to do so it's because now we have two fractions here but anyway if you remember fraction we can deal with that by using multiplication so left hand side right hand side we are going to multiply the same thing i don't want divided by p so we can do the opposite which is time p so now I'm going to times p in both sides. Similar reason, I don't want divided by q. So that's why I'm trying to do opposite, which is time q on both sides. I figure that if I follow this direction, I can simplify it and then no fraction here. So I just follow our step. To remove this bracket, the first term inside, the second term inside, both we have to times something outside. So I just write down 7 over p something, negative 1 over q something. And that something is pq. We just focus in left hand side. p divided by p will successfully disappear. And then you just need to copy down what is left in this term. 7 and q is left. So we write down 7q from the first term. Similar reason, in the second term, q divided by q will be cancelled out and give you 1. That's the reason why we both side times q. And then you find negative 1 and p is left. So this is negative 1p. Or you just write negative p is the same. Go back to right hand side, we have 3 pq, 3 times p times q, so only one term and we just need to write down 3 pq here. We find out that we separate all the terms one by one clearly like the previous question, so the following steps are the same. We identify our target q, and then I try to group all them together. I don't want 3 pq here, so both sides minus 3 pq. I don't want minus p in left hand side, so both sides plus p. Again, all q terms are here, and then we can extract what we want. We just extract q because it's a common factor. So extract q here. From the first term, we move q, 7 is left. From the second term, we move q, negative 3 and p is left. Final step, I want Q, I don't want this bracket, so just divide both sides by this same thing. And do the same in another sign, to be fair. So, same thing, divide by same thing, give you 1, so 1Q one is left in left hand side. And then right hand side, we can't simplify it, then we just copy down. This is our answer.